Hey guys, it's Silent Over Kin again, and this is part three of my Kinoda Tehoten Let's Play in preparation for Black Ops 2, which launches in under two weeks now, I think. And so part two, which came out yesterday, was about my parents and a lot of other people, like friends and just random people, thought I was gay for so long, and I think some of them still do. But part two, I just kind of talk about, like, why they thought I was gay, kind of the reasons, and then some of like, just the people, and it's just like kind of the whole background story. So if you want to go check that out, um, there's going to be an annotation in the top right hand corner. So I would love if you go check it out, I think it's a pretty good commentary. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get on with this one. So for this one, I was thinking, I was trying to come up with something to talk about, and I had the idea to talk about like school stories, like stuff that happened to me throughout my, my education, all that kind of stuff. Um, there were uh, two stories that kind of stood out in my mind that I thought would be really interesting to talk about. And one of them was, I think I was 12 years old, and we had this new kid who came to, in our, he was new in our grade, he came like halfway through the year. Like, I think he came around Christmas time, like, kind of around the new year, and no one really liked him because a lot of people viewed him as a douche, like we just thought he was kind of stuck up and a little bit, just really mean. And, I mean, he ended up leaving later before this year even finished because, I mean, I don't really know why he left. Some people say he got kicked out because he was, um, he got into fights or something like that, so, but no one really knows. So either way, he left. But he was in, he was in the other, he was in a different class, like in still my grade, and we were eating lunch one day. And he came in, and he was just talking to, um, some of his friends. And somebody, like, I think it was my friend Jackson, thought, he told me, he was like, dude, you should go really, you should get up and dance for some reason. I don't really know why he told me to, I was just like, oh, that's kind of a good idea. I was just in a really good mood, so I started dancing. And I mean, there wasn't any music on, I was just kind of dancing, like, whoop do doo And from the angle that the teacher was at, it looked like I was, like, behind the student, the new kid. And in reality, I wasn't really behind him, I was just kind of off to the side, like, close it. I was almost next to him, but the teacher was, like, at an angle that looked like I was behind him. And unfortunately, I, I thought it was funny to dance like Shakira. And if you guys have ever seen, like, music videos, like, for, um, Hips Don't Lie, I think it's Hips Don't Lie. And a few others. She's she moves her hips a lot, and she's just kind of like thrusting. It's it's kind of like a sexual dance almost, but I mean it's kind of entertaining. It's pretty funny to watch. A pretty not funny. It's pretty serious, but it's it's a nice dance to watch. So I thought it would be funny to dance like that for some reason, and so I do. And the teacher, I guess he viewed it more like sexual harassment. He thought I was like sexually harassing the kid, trying to like rape him or something. I don't really know, but. So he um, sends me to the disciplinary teacher, and she was just like, this this lady that we would talk to, like, if we got kicked out of class, well, um, she would kind of talk to us, like, what happened, what can I do next time so this doesn't happen, and she would usually assign us, like, a punishment, like, if we got um, kicked out of school, or if we had, like, a detention or something like that, she's the one who would give us that. And so I had to go talk to her about it, and, I mean, she's just talking to me, um, it, she talk, she's talking to me at, like, the last hour of the day. And so I'm, I, it was like on a Friday, and I really wanted to go home, but I was just kind of sick of it. And she's um, talking about how, I mean, it was really inappropriate to do, it was, she told me it was sexual harassment, why it was sexual harassment, all that kind of stuff. And then she was asking me, like, why didn't I? I was like, well, I don't know, I just thought it would be kind of funny to dance, like Shakira, and somebody told me to, so I didn't really think anything of it. And she started saying, well, it, it is, it's inappropriate, you shouldn't do that at school. And I said, well, I'm sorry, I wasn't, I was just dancing. I don't think it was that big of a deal. I mean, I wasn't trying, I was just trying to kind of plead my case and say why I didn't really think I should be in trouble. I mean, I was saying, like, I'm sorry if anybody was offended or if anybody was, um, like, embarrassed or something like that. But, I mean, I was still kind of saying, like, I didn't really understand what was going on. And she started bringing it up, like, well, do you think it would be appropriate if I started dancing like Shakira at my school, at, like, it's or at my job, like, at school? And I said, well, I don't really know. I mean, it's dancing. I don't think anybody would have a huge problem with it. And she's like, no, people really would have a problem with it because it's inappropriate dancing. And I'm like, well, okay, whatever. And I mean, I was kind of mad right now just because I got pulled out of one of my favorite classes. It was a computer class. And I, I really enjoyed it, so I was mad right then. And then she tells me that I'm going to have three days, um, I'm going to be absent from school for three days. They're just going to kick me out of class for three days. And I mean, this really frustrated me because I didn't understand what the big deal was. I didn't think it was, I mean, I didn't understand why they were doing it. And I definitely didn't agree with it. So they kicked me out of school for three days, and I'm 
actually tells me that I'm, I'm just pissed. And when I'm walking out of my room to go back to my regular class, about to leave for the, the end of the day and for the weekend, I say something. I, it didn't really make sense. It was just something I came, the words kind of came out of my mouth. I was searching for something to say, just kind of like to retaliate against what she just said. And I said, um, next year you guys are going to call the moonwalk gay, and you're going to have a big problem with that too. And I, I mean, I still don't know why I said it. It was just... Sometimes I have a tendency to say stuff, and I, it really doesn't make sense. It just kind of comes out. And so I, and I just, after I finished saying that, I slammed the door and walked out of the class, back to my uh, last class of the day. And my, my parents, I, I told my dad, um, my parents are divorced, so I got my dad's car at the end of the day. And he was like, oh, how was school? And I was like, well, it sucks, because I got three days OSS for, um, for dancing. And he was pissed. My mom was too. I, I think she was. I, I never really talked to her about it, but... I mean, they were pissed that I got kicked out of school for something so remedial and so stupid. But, um, yeah, so I got kicked out of school for three days for that. And then also, a few months later, I think maybe two months later from that, I had been sick for, like, the weekend, and I was sick, um, like, the Monday. I missed school. And there I teabag a zombie. Yeah. So I was sick from school, and I missed school. And, um, my fourth hour, I went to the teacher, and I was like, okay, well, I was sick yesterday. Is there anything I really missed? And it was a class that we didn't really do much in. It was almost like a study hall kind of thing. Like, if you didn't finish work from other classes, then you do them in this class. And I asked, but sometimes they would assign us, like, just random things that teachers wanted us to do in that class. So I asked her, like, well, is there anything I missed? Is there anything I need to make up or anything? She's like, well, no. So I go sit down. And unfortunately, she was in a, a pretty bad mood because she hadn't slept all the night before. And a couple other kids, like, just, I guess they were kind of my friends. Um, had been talking really loudly during class and kind of like disobeying her and she was she was pretty angry about this So she'd kick them out of class and then since I've been sick. I had like uh, I think I had a respiratory infection So I had like headaches. I had my throat really hurt My nose was stuffed up. I was in no state to go to school and so I come back the next day And I think I, I had, still had stuff in my throat like phlegm or snot or something like that and I tried to get it out, so I just cleared my throat, and I'm just kind of trying to dislodge it, so I could go spit it out in the throat. Uh, go spit it, go spit it out in the trash can. And she, she just tells me, she, she stands up, and she's like, okay, well, stand up, take your stuff, go uh, wait outside class, go wait outside the door for me, and I'll be out there in a second. So I go out there, and I'm just kind of puzzled, like, why I just got kicked out of class for clearing my throat. And she, um, she comes out uh, a few minutes later, and she's kind of talking to me, and she hands me a thing sheet. Which is just this little piece of paper they would give us if we um, did anything like naughty or um, like disruptive or something like that. And told me to go to an, uh, another classroom, so I did. And I fill it out, kind of like, well, like, what did you do? What problem did this cause? And I'm like, well, I cleared my throat. What problem did this, what problem did this cause? Um, I don't really think it caused a problem. Or at least I wasn't intentionally trying to cause a problem. It might have been a little bit disruptive, depending on who you asked. But, so I, she ha or at the end of the hour, I handed, ba handed her back the paper. And she got mad at me, and she was like, well, this isn't that's, this isn't what I was looking for. So she said I'd go back the next day and fill the same thing out. So I filled it out, and I was just like, well, I, I didn't really know what to do, because I didn't see why I was getting in trouble. And so I kind of filled out, like, you know, I cleared my throat. It might have been a little bit louder than it probably should have been, just because I think it was kind of hard to get it out of my throat, because it was really thick. But, I mean, if I disrupted the class in any way, shape, or form, I, I, I do apologize. I, don't, I wasn't trying to be disruptive, it just, I guess it happened, and I'm sorry for that. And she, she got mad at that, I mean, she just kind of got, she was irritated with me. And so I got sent to the disciplinary teacher, which I talked about earlier. Um, so I go to her class for a year, or for a day, and she's having me do all this work, and she's talking to me like, well, what problem did the cause? And she's like trying to figure out what happened and all that kind of stuff, and what I could do differently next time. And I'm just kind of, I'm still in denial that I like I don't think I was necessarily being disruptive even though they're trying to say that I was like trying to be um, like annoying or something like that and so I'm just kind of denying everything she's saying and she sends me to the uh, the, he the principal's office the headmaster and he he started he's kind of getting mad at me and like well you just need to stop this you need to start cooperating with us it'll make your life easier and all that kind of stuff I'm like well I'm trying to cooperate as best as I can and he's like, well, whatever. He sends me back to um, the disciplinary teacher, and I'm doing my work. Or uh, um, I'd finished my work for the day, and she said, well, uh, why aren't you doing your work? And I said, well, I finished it. Is, can I go to the teacher and see if there's anything else I need to do? And she said, no. And she starts saying that I'm, like, refusing to do my work some, for some reason. Like, saying I'm just kind of, 
um, I, th I think she's just, like, she was calling it defiance of authority, kind of like not giving them the respect they deserve or something like that. So she, so she calls the principal again, and she says, um, so I've got him in my office, and he's refusing to do his homework now. So he says, okay, go ahead and send back up uh, to my room. So I go up there, I'm in his office, and he's like, he's starting to yell at me. He's kind of frustrated with me because I've been sent there twice in one day. And he tells me, he's like, you need to respect her authority. I mean, she's a teacher, you're just a kid. You need to um, do what she tells you to do. And I'm like, well, I wasn't refusing to do my homework. I just didn't have any work to do. So he, he sends me back, and um, on my way back, I think I stopped at the class that I was kicked out of to get my homework, like, see if there's anything that we were doing. So she handed me this. And I go back to the, the disciplinary teacher's room. And I started doing my work, and she kind of let me alone. They left me alone. So, I mean, this whole thing, like the whole clear my throat thing, I think it lasted about a week. It started like a Monday or Tuesday, or like a Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. And then like the next, by the next Monday, I uh, was back in my regular class and I just kind of went up to her, I was like, you know, I'm sorry. Um, if you view that as a disruption, it wasn't, if you, it was meant to be like that. It just, I guess it happened like that and I'm sorry. You must, her way. I just left it alone. And she accepted my apology and we just kind of went on with stuff. And I didn't have any more problems that year. I mean, I didn't really have any problems that year. It was just stuff that kind of like just spin kind of to make it look like a problem. So this time, uh, or, unfortunately, I had like two more years at that school, and it was kind of the same thing. I would get in trouble for stuff that wasn't necessarily a troublesome. It was just they were a, a little mad with me. But I mean, it, it's gotten better recently. Like the older I've gotten, and. As always, this has been Silent Novocaine in my part 3 of Kino de Toten Let's Play. And if you enjoyed, please leave a comment, a rating, and if you'd like to see more, uh, please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.